Well, welcome back to you. It seems every day we have a new headline in the housing market. Well, the latest is this. The number of homes sold here in San Diego County went up last month, but prices actually went down. This morning we're joined by local real estate expert and radio host Mike Litton to uh, talk about all this. Mike, good morning to you. How are you doing? Good? Hello, bud. Good. Thanks for having me. We're going to jump right into this, and I really want the viewers to take something away, so we're, we're going to get right to it. Okay, okay, I know the Fed did some, some big things yesterday, and I don't want to get lost in the minutia of what that is, but uh, basically... What they did could drive 30-year fixed rates for a home and home mortgage down into the threes, three point, what did I hear this morning, 3.3, 3.2%. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? And, and how is that, is that possible? They're doing everything they can do or everything they can think of to try to, to spur this economy, try and get more people buying and make things more affordable. So they're trying to make real estate more affordable. They're trying to help with prices. They're trying to help with all of it. What they're doing is they're taking what's almost a limitless budget that the Fed has and using it to increase demand for something that has a, a basic supply. Right. And so what's happening is they're by, by buying more bonds, they're driving up the price, and that drops the yield, which drops the cost of money. Okay, and even if, uh, even if the, the percentage rate goes down that low, Getting a loan in this market is tough. We're it's not talking easy. 2005 where you could just state your income right. and not put any money down. The banks want you, the buyer, to have some skin in the game. Yeah, you used to be able to fog up a mirror and buy a house. Right. So it was that simple. You can't do that anymore. Now you have to qualify. And there are, there are, believe it or not, there are lenders that are out there that are actually lending, that are actually getting the job done. There are but lenders the out there that are afraid to make The standards loans. are very high. They I mean, are. It's tough standards. And right? there are things called overlays, which are, which are investor requirements that basically make it more difficult to, to purchase through particular lenders. So it's important that you pick the right lender and pick the right lender who has less overlays and who's actually doing, actually getting loans done today. Um, have we hit bottom? No. Not yet. No, there's too much inventory out there. There's entirely too much distressed inventory that's, that has to come so, back on the market still. Foreclosures yeah. are still extremely high, and that's what we're talking about. Sales and there's a large up. pipeline. And there's a, yeah. So if you're cash, if you have a lot of cash on hand liquid, it's great for you. Absolutely. But, you know, not many people it's can a terrific scratch that big check. Yeah, it's yeah. a terrific opportunity. And if you have, what we're seeing is a lot of people are pulling money out of the stock market, and they're jumping into real estate. And it's a terrific opportunity. Right. Even if you're a buyer, believe it or not, it's a great opportunity because as prices go down and interest rates go down and affordability goes up, it's a terrific opportunity for people who couldn't buy before right. to be able to buy now. Uh, personally, I think it's all tied to unemployment, too. And as long it as is. unemployment's in the double digits, it's going to be very difficult to bring the housing market and these prices back up. People have jobs, they have an income, they can buy homes. There's that movement. Okay, uh, your advice. You're an expert on this. Best advice for a home buyer in this market today is? I would buy. I would get in as fast as you possibly can, and I would buy. You just said the market has not hit bottom. That's true. But, you're but I would, buy. I would buy, and I would buy now. The thing is, we won't know when we've hit bottom until six months after we've hit bottom. Right now is we're at all time lows for interest rates. Interest rates are dropping. We believe again, right. we're at the lowest we've seen prices to be. We don't know how low they're going to go. We don't know how much further they're down they're going to yeah. go. And so I would get in now. Don't want to cut you off. I also have to get your best no advice then for seller, and we'll leave it at this. If you're a seller, be aggressive. Make sure that your property is exactly the way it should be. Listen to your realtor. Stage your property correctly. Make sure it's not cluttered. Make sure that you're pricing it aggressively. Okay. That it? What That's else? it. Anything important? What do we get? Crystal ball. Well, crystal ball is it's the, the market's going to continue to go down. Prices are going to continue to drop. But, you know, what's interesting is last month, Existing home sales were up 18% right. over what they were this time last year here, but the prices were down 13%. So what that tells you is the aggressive sellers are the ones that are selling, gotcha. okay? So, it, you know, sellers need to be aggressive. Buyers need to get in there right. because we're not, we don't know when we're going to see a better opportunity. All right, Mike. Well, you can catch Mike on his radio show. It's called The Real Estate Zone. Real Estate Zone. That's it. Saturday afternoons from 3 to 4 p.m. That's on uh, Talk Radio 760 KFMB. Mike, thank you for being here. We appreciate yeah, your insight. Thanks for having me. We will be right back.